Welcome to yet another video. Today we will discuss about the scales in engineering drawing. Scale is a system of measurement. Generally word scale means a scale ruler. A scale ruler is a tool for measurement and transfer of measurement at a ratio of length. On the other hand, a scale is a set of numbers or levels used in any system of measurement of object, property or phenomenon. Scales in engineering drawing. The word scale may have different meaning in engineering drawing. So in drawing, scale is a device to measure linear distance and create proportional linear measurement. The scale of a drawing is basically the relationship between the size of the object in the drawing and the size of the actual object it says this is the size of the object in the drawing and this is the actual size that relationship is scale so the ratio at which the actual size of an object on a drawing is reduced or increased is known as drawing to scale or simply scale in engineering drawing or any technical drawing, the scale is a measuring stick graduated with different divisions. So scales indicate the relation between the dimensions on the drawing and actual dimensions of the object. Scales in engineering drawing is used for three different purposes. So to prepare reduced or enlarged size drawing to set of dimensions or to measure distances directly with the help of a scale. We can also understand from the object sizes, say if we want to draw a pencil in a drawing, then we can draw it the exact size pencil. If the uh, length of the pencil is 10 cm, we can draw it a pencil with 10 cm length in the drawing sheet or in any sheet of paper. But if we want to draw an table like this, maybe we may have to draw, reduce the sizes because we cannot compensate the same size in a drawing sheet or a piece of paper. But on the other hand, if we want to draw some, some small object, say one micro ship, then in that case we may have to increase the size of the object in the drawing for better understanding or presentation of the object in the drawing. So based on the object size, scale sizes are of three sizes. One is full size scale, reducing scale and enlarging scale. Full size scale is one is to one scale. That means drawing made to actual size. So the scale in which the actual measurement of the object are drawn to the same size on the drawing is known as full size scale. On the other hand, reducing sky size scales may be 1 is to 2, maybe 1 is to 3 and like this. So reducing scale is the scale in which the actual measurement of the object are reduced to some proportion. For example, the drawing of a bridge, building, large machine, etc. For that we have to reduce the size proportionately in the drawing. Again, enlarging scales are like say 2 is to 1, 3 is to 1 like this. The scale in which the actual measurement of the object are increased to some proportion is known as enlarging scale. Examples, say small machine parts like watches, for that we have to increase the sizes. There are some standard reducing proportion in engineering drawing and these are the standard reducing proportion 1 is to 2, 1 is to 5, 1 is to 10, 1 is to 20, 1 is to 50 and 1 is to 100 for reducing. Similarly for enlarging there are some standard scale 2 is to 1, 5 is to 1 and 10 is to 1. But if we have to prepare a drawing which is not within the standards, then we may have to prepare the uh, scale in the drawing sheet itself. That means if the scale you see is not standard, it need 
to be constructed on the drawing sheet itself. And to construct the scales, we have to use some units of measurement. Generally, the Indian Standard Institute has introduced the metric system of measurement for scales for any measurement. So these units relationship are important. So these are very important uh, for construction of the scales. These units will be used. Representative fraction. This is very important for construction of scale. This is also called scale factor or simply the scale. RF representative fraction is defined like this. It is the ratio of the length of the object on the drawing sheet to the corresponding actual length of the object. We can understand the thing like this. If 10 meter is the actual length of a object or actual distance and if we want to represent this 10 meter distance in a drawing sheet suppose we represent it in a drawing sheet by a 10 centimeter long line that means 10 centimeter is equal to 10 meter so the representative fraction or scale is 1 centimeter is equal to 1 meter or 1 divided by 100 this is the rf or representative fraction or we can say scale or scale factor now if we want to construct a scale three important informations are required those are the first one is the representative fraction itself rf of the scale and then the units to be presented for the scale, what unit will be presented? It may be kilometer hectometer, meter decimeter like this, or it may be inches feet also. And also the maximum length of the scale has to be determined. What will be the length of the scale? If we have these three informations, then we can construct a scale for engineering drawing. So there are many types of scales like plane scale, diagonal scale, comparative scale, vernier scale and scale of chords. We will not discuss these three types of scale. We will only discuss plane or simple scale and diagonal scale. We will also construct plane scale as well as diagonal scale. Plane scales are used to represent either two units or one unit and its fraction. So what does it do? It represents either two units or one unit and its fraction, fraction of that unit. And for that, we need a line to represent some distance. So that line is divided into suitable number of equal parts or units first. Then the first part is again divided or subdivided into small parts or subunits of the main units. Let us understand this like this. Suppose we draw a line and we divide it into some equal number of divisions or parts. In this case, it is seven divisions. So let us mark these divisions like this. So it's zero, one, two, then three, fourth division, fifth and sixth. That means there are seven equal divisions. Then the first division, this is the first division. This first division has to be again subdivided into equal number of parts, suitable number of parts. Say we divide it into again 10 equal divisions. First division is again divided into 10 subdivisions and that can be marked like this 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10 like this. We can also write 1, 2, 3, 4 because of this space we are writing 2, 4, 6, 8 like this. So this is the main thing for construction of the plane scale. We can also draw a line like this. Then we have to mention the RF. In the drawing, we have to mention the RF for the scale. 
representative fraction. Also, you have to mention the unit. The main unit has to be written over here at the right end. And the subunit has to be written at the left end, left side. Say if it is meter, it may be decimeter, like this. Or feet inches. So the key points for construction of a plane scale. The first step is to find the RF. Representative fraction has to be found out. In some problems, the RF is directly mentioned, say 1 by 60, 1 by 100, whatever it may be, it will be directly given. But otherwise, some information will be given and based on that, the RF has to be calculated. Next step is find the length of the scale. So what will be the length of the scale? RF multiplied by actual length of the object. Simple calculation, but we have to do the calculation. Then, accordingly, the maximum length of the scale will be drawn like this. Say 1, 2, 3, 4, up to 6, that means 7 divisions. Then, mark 0 at the end of the first main division. So, this is the 0 at the end of the first main division, starting with 0. Then, number the main units to the right. From here, we will mark towards the right, 1, 2, 3, 4, up to 6, whatever it may be. And the subunits to the left. So, these are the subunits to the left. Then, mention the scale or R, F along with the figure. So, this is the figure. So, this R, F has to be mentioned. That is important. If we construct the scale, then R, F must be mentioned just below the diagram or figure. Again, mention name of the main units. That means this is the main units. It may be kilometer, hectometer, decameter, whatever it may be. And its subunits at the respective ends. So this is the end for the subunit. So here you have to write it is centimeter, decimeter, whatever it may be. So these are the main steps or points to be followed for construction of a plane scale. Okay. Now we will construct one plane scale.